What is going on, E Nation fans? This is Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast related video. And in honor of Clint Boyer, Matt Kenseth, and Jimmy Johnson, since they'll be retiring from racing in the Cup Series, I thought I would do a diecast related video about them in honor of their last Cup race on Sunday. So with that being said, here we go. Let's start off with some Clint Boyers. I do have only two Clint Boyer diecasts. But with that being said, here we go. So first off, this is Clint Boyers 2014 Peak Antifreeze Mortal Oil from the NASCAR Authentic Spin Master from Michael Walter Racing. The Peak Schemes have always been one of my all-time favorites, not for only Clint Boyer, but for like in the sport in general. Next up, and finally for Boyer, it, it, this is Clint Boyer's 2019 decalb hashtag my farm my yield Ford Mustang from Stuart Haas Racing. A couple things. One, not a big fan. I was never a big fan of this scheme, but it looks better without the chase uh, the the chase uh, color junk. And two. It, it's, it looks a lot better with the Mustang. I, I know I said I'm not the big fan of this scheme, but it looks a bit better with the Mustang. And three, to th I really hope they make a 2020 decal diecaster because I think that one looks way better than this. But than that, very cool car regardless. I do like the white splitter. So that is it for the Clint Boyers. And we're going to go on with the Matt Kenseth diecasts. So first up, this is Matt Kenseth's 2000 DeWalt Ford Taurus rookie car from Roush Racing. And next up, a custom I did when I was like 12, I think. And I thought I did a good job on it, but looking back at it now. Yes. When I was 12, I was like, this is Matt Kenseth's 2004 DeWalt car. Like, this was painted from a Kyle Petty. I guess as, as you can see right here, I know I mentioned it a bunch of times, but yeah, you can see like a Kyle Petty diecast peeking. And yeah, I said this is 2004. I don't know if it does look like 2004 now, but I don't know. But I don't know what to do this one. So, but as of now, yeah, here's a custom Kansas diecast that I made. Yellow is faded. And the next diecast that is going to be. Let me get my chair because I'm gonna sit down on the chair, not on the floor. Next, uh, this is Matt Kenseth's 2007 DeWalt Ford Fusion for Roush Fenway Racing. It's a bit chipped up, but this is his car. Not our stuff. Oh, shit. It's upside down. My bad. Alright, so a couple more to go from Matt Kenseth. Next up, this is Matt Kenseth's 2012 Fifth Third Ford Fusion from Rosh Fenway Racing. It is so dusty. Can't wait to undust everything soon. So yeah, this is Matt Kenseth's 2012 Fifth Third Ford Fusion. And finally, this is going to be on Matt Kenseth's 2016 Dollar General uh, Toyota Camry from Joe Gibbs Racing. Honestly, if he was still in the 20 by now, I don't think he would be, I don't think we would be worried about, oh, Kansas is going to stay in NASCAR or is he going to retire from NASCAR? Even with that, even if, even if he wasn't kicked out of Joe Gibbs Racing to get replaced by, out of all people, Eric Jones, I think he would still kind of retire regardless because he's got four daughters to take care of. So, yeah. But... Kansas will be remain as one of those Joe Gibbs Racing's great drivers in Roush as well. And the best for last. My all-time favorite NASCAR driver. He's making his final cup, full-time cup race on Sunday. And I do have a lot of diecast, a lot of 164s. And I will show the 124 and a 30 pack at nearly at the end of the video. But with that being said. Here we go. This is Jimmy Johnson's 2004 Lowe's SpongeBob SquarePants movie from the Bush series. 
a friend of mine uh, gave this to me um, eight years ago, and and the this part of the spoiler broke and fell off. Like it was, I don't remember if it was at the verge of falling off. I know it had, it was like a bit loose, and one day just broke. But yeah, and then I did sharpie on it to make it try a bit. Try to make it look a bit better, but no, I always do a shitty job. If it ain't, if it ain't broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, Ian. But yeah, sorry if I'm going a bit slow. Um, uh, I don't know. Sorry, sorry if I'm going a bit slow. I'm okay. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Next up, this is Jimmy Johnson's 2006 Lowe's Monte Carlo SS, of course from Hundred Motorsports. His first championship in the cup series when he won the daytona 500 the brickyard 400 a bunch of races and i gotta say people say this is a dynasty paint scheme of jimmy johnson and i'm like you bet your sweet buckaroo it is next up it is going to be my all-time favorite jimmy johnson paint scheme so I might as well get two of these because, I don't know, because I only got two of these. This is Jimmy Johnson's 2007 and 2011 Cobalt Tools. This one is the Chevy Monte Carlo SS. And yeah, I know it's a bit roughed up. But honestly, I am still glad that I own, own this car. Hopefully one of these days I could get the 2008, 2009, and the 2010. And who knows if I could ever get the, the Lionel version of the Cobalt 2011 card. But I gotta say, I've always been a huge fan of this paint scheme when I was younger. I'm not sure why. I guess the coloring and the designing just looks sexy. It's just so sexy. And if you ask me, honestly, the Cobalt Tools paint scheme looks better with the Gen 5. Honestly... I would specify like 2010. It looks so much better in 2010. I don't know why. I don't know. 2010, 2011. I don't know why. I've always been a huge fan of this paint scheme of Gen 5 better. But it does look good on Gen 4 too. Next up. It is one, It was one of my all-time favorite paint schemes when I was younger. And so excited to get this die cast uh, like a day before Christmas. And this is going to be on Jimmy Johnson's 2012 Lowe's. Build and Grow Madagascar 3, Chevy Ipla. He won this race. He won this paint scheme at Dover. And honestly, I was really won it. that's just very cool that he won it with this amazing paint scheme. I've always been like a huge fan of paint schemes, movie paint schemes, especially animated ones. And I got to say, this one's awesome. Unfortunately, one day uh, when I used to live at a townhouse, I... Brought this die cast to the pool. And I was just playing with it under the water. I don't know. I was 12 and a half. And then I accidentally scratched the, the roof of it. And then I was like, oh, I'm fucked. So I had to like put white up, put Sharpie. And yeah. I don't know why I did that. I guess I just wanted to have fun. Next up. This is going to be on Jimmy Johnson's 2013 uh, low Chevy SS, and honestly, 2013, what a time to be alive for me, 2013, as a Jimmy fan, he wins the Daytona 500, he wins five more races, and he brought chassis 797 during the good chase, and then I managed to see him win the 2013 Cup Championship in person at Homestead Miami Speedway, one of my favorite memories, as a motorsports fan, I got to see my all-time favorite driver winning championship in person. And, golly. This is when... I, If you ask me, I believe this is his last truly prime year. I mean, 2014, 2015. 2014 was decent. 2015 was alright. 2016, he wasn't there. But, you know, the elimination chase for him happened in 2017. He seemed to do good. But then, I guess, Pocono happened and he has not been the same. And here we are now. Next up, this is Jimmy Johnson's 2013 Lowe's Build and Grow Monsters University. And of course, like I said with the Madagascar 3, I love 
Jimmy's animated movie paint schemes at Dover. I still wish he won that race, but no, the restart thing happened. The restart, and he jumped the restart ahead of Montoya, and then, yeah. I wanted him to win with this one, but it didn't happen. I got this on eBay. However, I wanted to get the Lionel version of this awesome paint scheme, but I just could not find it on eBay at that time. Well, not on eBay, but like at JP Sports, at my local sports uh, collector stores where they sell NASCAR stuff as well. I'm still having a hard time finding it on eBay. Hopefully one day I can get the Lionel version, but I gotta say, I still love this one. Ah, oh, crap. All right, there we go. Next up, this is going to be on Jimmy Johnson's 2013. Lowe's Build and Grow Planes. Anyone remember the Disney's Planes movie? If you ask me, I don't really hate the movie. It's uh, it's okay. Like, I don't mind the movie. It's still enjoyable to me for watching whenever I can watch it. He ran his paint scheme at Pocono, won a pole with it, and then blew a tire, hit the wall. And I think he finished 13 with it. Of course, like... Another movie car Jimmy that had not so good luck in 2013. Not too bad of a scheme, though. And next up, this is going to be on Jimmy Johnson's 2014 Lowe's Chevy SS. And there's a, I got this car for my 14th birthday, and I'm glad I got the Spin Master version because the Lionel version. Oh boy, where do we begin with the line out version with the WLS mode? It's just wow. I feel bad for everybody who got the line out version of Jimmy's 2014 lows. They deserve way better, of course. But the Spin Master one, it's very cool. I sharpied it. I sharpied it because there was like a paint chip on the grill. And I sharpied it and yeah. And I can see the paint chip still. Will I take care of that this time? Maybe. If I'm not lazy. But yeah, this is Jimmy 2014 Lowe's. Next up, this is going to be on Jimmy Johnson's 2015 Lowe's Chevy SS. The original before they brought back the yellow number 48. And honestly, if I had like an extra 2016 Jimmy Johnson car, of course I would like color them. I would use marker and yellow it because the yellow 48 come on it, it's iconic and this is where he won his seventh chase championship so yeah and then here we got jimmy johnson's 2016 low superman chevy ss when Jimmy Johnson, Downer Jr. are promoting Batman vs. Superman. I wanted to go see that movie with my dad because we both love Batman. And it didn't happen, but thank God we did not see that movie But because holy fuck, I heard that movie was so garbage. Oh my God. <laughs> my mother's name is Martha too. Oh my God. Yeah, that's pretty much Batman vs. Superman in a nutshell, folks. And to be honest, because I love Batman, I wanted Junior to win that race. But, <laughs> and then here's Jimmy winning with this paint scheme at Outer Club at his home track. Honestly, that's very cool to, to win it with this scheme at his home. But too bad the movie sucked ass. All right, guys, we got four more. Jimmy Johnson won 64 to go through, so hang in there. Sorry if this video's not that good because of me. But... No, what? Hang on. I've got these two. Because they're the same thing. So here we got Jimmy Johnson's 2017 Lowe's and Cobalt Tools paint scheme. And honestly, of course I love this one better. Like when I first got this, unfortunately there are a lot of defects. Um, as you can see, look at the uh, Lowe's logo on the hood. There's some paint chips here. And honestly, I don't remember how I sharpied this. I don't remember how this happened. It was not for light now, but I really don't remember how this happened. And I don't remember if there was like any other defects. I don't remember too much. Um, no, I think everything else is okay at least. 
And then his 2017 lows. I mean, Cobalt. He ran the scheme of Vegas. I think he could have had a top 10, but then I guess he pitted late in a race. I don't remember. I know he was leading this race at one point before Yellow came out. Yeah, not too bad of a scheme design for these two. So, yeah. All right, folks. Hang in there with me. Got two more to go. This is Jimmy Johnson's 2017 Lowe's Darlington throwback. And, yes, this diecast does have a lot of defects. Oh, boy. The crooked headlights. Look at the left headlight. Crooked stripes. Then the, lo the Lowe's logo on the hood is okay. I'm just looking at if there's any defects. It's been a while. Of course, the rear tailgate lights, they're crooked. And honestly, my one of my favorite parts about this diecast is a three. I love, I always love the, the winter stickers, the winter decals. I prefer those over the, the stupid chase marketing, uh, chase colors any day. The winter circles, I've always enjoyed those. However, the saddest part about those winter circles is that those could be his last three wins of his career. He won Texas, Bristol, and Dover, tying K.O. Yarbrough, his driver. So that's the heartbreaking part about these winter stickers, looking at this diecast. But he's done well throughout his career, if you ask me. I wish he can win on Sunday, but I don't think it'll happen. And then, the best for last for the 164s, it is going to be on Jimmy Johnson's 2019 Ally Financial Chevy Camaro ZL1 from Hendrick Motorsports. And I got a personal opinion about this paint scheme. When this scheme was first revealed, of course, I was not in love with it, but I did like it. Like, it was way better than his garbage 2018 Lowe's for Pros paint scheme. Like, I don't mind getting a diecast of that, but God, that paint scheme was so fucking awful. And I think this paint scheme is overhated, but I kind of do understand why some people, why some people hate it. But it's kind of overhated, in my opinion. And I don't like the fact that people say that the 2020 Ally Black scheme is better. Honestly... No, they did way too many stripes to the 2020 and the doors. Of course, my least favorite part about this diecast was the hood. Honestly, the hood piece with this, it does look good. Oh, crap, it's somewhere over there. Like, the hood piece when I got this car, it's cool. But on the car itself, I don't know. But honestly, I would take this paint scheme over his 2018 Lowe's for Pros. And his 2020 Ally Black any day. I prefer this way better. You heard it here, folks. I think this paint scheme is overhated. It's not perfect, but I'll take this any day. And it looks good on diecast. So, yeah. All right, guys. Before we finish off this video, I got a couple of things to show. Then we'll head off. Um, here we got Jimmy Johnson's 2017 Lowe's. Uh, NASCAR Authentics and 124. I got this for Christmas back. Sorry. Nearly burped. Back in 2017. Uh, Christmas of 2017. And honestly, I actually like the NASCAR Authentics 124s. It's cheaper, yeah. And I don't mind it. I know they're like for toys to play with, but I like to keep these as collections. And then the best for last, it is the Jimmy Johnson 2013 Lowe's NASCAR Authentic Spin Master 3-Pack. I got this from my good friend, NASCAR Nick2488. And if I ever do a review on this one with Nick, I got to talk to him about it uh, soon. Let's just say this has a crazy story when he found this piece of beauty. And I, God, I would still love to get the Casey Kane three packs, especially this one. Pepsi Max scheme is way too underrated, and it's just so fucking sexy. But for the Jimmy three pack, it's awesome. Like, I, I opened this before, but 
I don't know how Nick closes uh, his diecast with this kind of packaging. So it's like I use a glue stick. I I glue shuttered it. Will I open it again? Hopefully, if I do open it again, hopefully I'll close it right this time. So yeah. And I only have one problem with this, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, this this box is kind of sus. That's the imposter right there. Like, really? How can you mess this up so bad? Uh, that sucks. But, very cool scheme for these. Yeah, I do have Lionel version of this one. And I do have an extra of this one. But I'll still keep this packaging, so yeah. Alrighty, folks, that is going to be it for today's video. I want to say thank you so much, Clint Boyer, Matt Kenseth, and Jimmy Johnson for all you've done throughout your careers in NASCAR. Thank you all. Thank you guys so much for everything you've done with this sport. We will truly miss you. Can't wait to see Clint Boyer on Fox. Not sure what Matt Kenseth is going to do, but thank you for everything, Matt Kenseth. I know this year was rubbish for Kenseth. If it wasn't for, like, no practice, no qualifying, I think he would do a bit better. But, large thing happened. But again, thank you, Kenseth, for coming back once again. And, especially, my all-time favorite driver, Jimmy Johnson. I know this year I have not paid attention to the sport a lot, or paid attention to Jimmy's last few races. I know I have not paid attention or made as much content with Jimmy's stuff. Uh, during his farewell tour. It's just... I just don't like how NASCAR is. Like, this year, NASCAR in general... It's not that... The racing is still pathetic. It's still pathetic, but that's not the problem. Like, everything outside the sport, it was just... Just too much. It's hard to pay attention to it. Like... Everybody's just... The, the NASCAR fan base is just so divided. And I've been more happier with other motorsports. Like, IndyCar, ARCA, Formula 1, IMSA... Like, other motorsports, I've been more happy to watch. But for NASCAR, it's just kind of sad this year. Because of the fans and all that stuff. But, I still never gave up on Jimmy Johnson this year. When he still struggled. I still been there for Jimmy. And, I, I just can't wait to see Jimmy Johnson in the car. Like, Jimmy Johnson was won skills. Skill racing, real racing. Well, welcome to IndyCar, buddy. IndyCar is just... Better at the moment for me. So yeah, regardless whether Jimmy Johnson is a three-time non-chase champion, whether he's a seven-time chase champion, he still accomplished a lot throughout the sport, no matter how many championships he has. No matter how many championships he has, whatever it is, he still accomplished a lot of the sport. Thank you, Jimmy, for everything. So that'll do it for this video, folks. These are my Matt Kenseth, Clint Boyer, Jimmy Johnson diecast. It's show, showing appreciation to them for what they've done with the sport. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry that this video is probably bad. I promise you I'm not on substances. No alcohol. No. No drugs. No whatever. I'm fine. I don't know like why I'm like this today. But I'm good, don't worry. So that's going to do it for today's video. And I'll say yes, I don't have carpets, I have tiles. I promise you the room tour will happen soon. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my show, social accounts, Instagram, I'm your press 25 Ian press 40 underscore by T. Like my Facebook page, Ian Asker for the Dashing Nation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Follow me on Reddit, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for supporting you Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you, Matt Kansas, Clint Boyer, and Jimmy Johns for all you've done with this sport. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.